Hello, I'm Chip Barkel from Toronto, and I'm a senior manager with Send Out Cards. Today, I'd like to do a little demo for you of creating a card, and more importantly, creating a card back, a custom brand uh, card back uh, for the card. I'm going to share my screen, and I'm going to go into Send Out Cards. When you go into Send Out Cards, you can click Send a Card, and it's going to ask you if you want to choose a photo drop card, a catalog card or a build your own. I'm going to click on build your own. I have a choice between vertical and horizontal. Most of the time I choose vertical. I like the way they stand up better when people display them. I'm going to customize the card and choose from a flat panel card, a two panel, three panel, really big card for $1.50 extra, postcard, and the paper type I can use standard, which is a, kind of a gloss finish, satin or pearl. I'm going to choose a two panel card. And it's going to ask me what photograph I want on the front. I'm going to click on the camera and choose a photograph that I've already uploaded. That's a good Christmas scene. I'm going to go on to the inside, and I have a choice between adding text or adding a photograph. I'm going to add a photograph, but in this case, I have choices between my formats, multiple photographs, or this one allows me to use a photograph and text at the bottom. Click on the camera. And I'm going to go through and add this Christmas bear, which I kind of like. Now I'm going to click on the pencil and type in Merry Christmas. And I'm going to make that a little bit bigger. And I'm going to change the color of that to white because I'm also going to change the background by clicking on the back of the card. I'm going to background and I'm going to make the background red, a festive color. Merry Christmas is kind of plain, so I'm going to select that text and I'm going to go down to Papyrus, so I have a number of font choices. That's one that I particularly like. I'm going to click on the right side of the background, go to the background again, colors, and choose the same red. Click on the pencil. I'm going to left justify. And if I scroll all the way to the bottom, I can choose a reserved first name field that will automatically do a mail merge with the first name of the recipient. Wishing you the joys of an old fashioned Christmas. People love Christmas nostalgia and all the best in the new year. And I'm going to change the and to an ampersand and old fashioned Christmas and all the best. Fix up my typing. I'm going to select all of that, change it to envelope hand, and I'm going to center that and make the font white, the ink white, and Take out some of these black lines that aren't really necessary and put in my name. Now, often with my name, I'll make it a little bit larger just because it looks a little bit more natural. I'm going to go to the back of the card now. And this is my standard card back, which is a little summery and not really festive for the Christmas season. I'll click on the picture on the back and then go to, from the photo library. I'm going to go to layouts. And it's either going to ask me to select an existing layout that I've already saved before or go create a new one. Normally, I create my photographs outside of Send Out Cards and upload them as a full page. We have different choices for formats with photos and text. I'm going to choose the full page. And then I'm going to click on the camera and I'm going to upload a photograph that I'm after. In this case, it's KW December 5th. And the tree is here. And I'm going to open it. And it will upload that right onto the card.
once I'm done, I want to make sure I save the layout. That'll save the back, the card back so I can use it in the future. And if I click on save, it's just going to save the card. But if I click on save and send, it's going to ask me who it's going to be going to. Read, create the order first. I can schedule the card to go immediately or at a future date. I can also add a gift uh, to the card, brownies, cookies, whatever, or just send the card by itself. While we're waiting for it to load, we're going to go through and have a look. Sometimes with Zoom, it takes a while to actually load the photographs. Um, what I can do to be the long is click on edit. It's going to load the card and I can see the card is there. And then update. And that'll normally force it to load. I can then click on add recipients. And choose the name of the person this is going to go to. I'm going to choose my own name. Done. It'll come back ready to send. And you'll notice this is a free card since I've just created this as classified as a heartfelt card. I can click on send and it'll be in the mail tomorrow morning. If you have any questions, please get in touch with me, Chip Barkell. I can be reached, um, just Google my name. It's never just a card. I'm on Facebook. Happy to answer all of your questions. Have a good day.